Game 3 between Sas, Kashu, and Disakwe on Estrella. Now, I, I don't know what this map looks like. If someone could link me to a picture of this map, like from Liquipedia, that would be cool. That would be uh, much appreciated. So it looks like, oh, Kashu is actually going to roll Zerk this time. He will be, oh, actually, I'm going to shift, tab, tab, um, because the Sakwe is orange, and, like, the tile set of the map is orange, so that's just ridiculous. Uh, so Kashu going to be the red Zerk, the Sakwe will be the yellow Protoss. Why can't I type? Sakwe Viz, please. All right, so... Uh, Desakwe is still at an unknown location. Alright, Desakwe will be at the left side, the 9 o'clock spawn, as the yellow Protoss once again. <clears throat> and I have been linked to an image from Team Liquid. Very nice. Alright. Oh, it's this map! Isn't isn't this the map where, uh... Didn't, didn't Artosis lose to Day 9 on this map in that, in that, like, WCG video? Um, from back when they were, like, all super young? That's like a really awesome video. Anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, gas first from both players. As we have come to expect. So it looks like uh, this map is like your main is an island and everything else is connected by land. Is that right? Let me actually double check. Uh, yes, I believe that's correct. Uh, your main is separated but everything else is connected by land. So uh, there's the gateway, and the spawning pool, going down. Uh, this is an interesting scout pattern of the Overlord. Look at that, it didn't check out the 3 o'clock, it just... Maybe, does he not know the map? No, because he lost last game, so he picked the map. I have no idea what's up with this Overlord, I don't know why he didn't check this base. Unless he's like got psychic powers, he, he knows like I'm there. Um, I'm a little bit confused by that. Um, huh. So uh, nothing crazy coming out for either player. I don't really know what kind of craziness they could do. Um, but Kashu's Overlord scouting is really bugging me. Like, where, where is this guy going? He's not even. He's not. Well, if he'll kind of go there. Uh. What? He just. Oh! Oh, okay, you know what? I think I know what's going on right here. Kashu doesn't want the Sakwe to know that he's Zerg. So he's deliberately not scouting into the mains so that the Sakwe won't see his overlords. Yeah, that's gotta be what's going on here. So he's gonna do some kind of crazy, crazy fast, uh, Zergy thing. I don't know. But that's, okay, okay, fine. I was like, what is going on with these overlords? Okay, that makes, that makes sense. Um, yeah. So, uh, whew, yeah, G gonna give myself a pat on the back for that one. Yeah, good job, Sale, calling it. All right. <coughs> so this, wow, Kasha really knows how to abuse random. It's, it's pretty dirty, it's pretty dirty. So we have a, a single robo going down for Desakwe. And it's going to be one hatch spire. It's going to be ultra fast mutas. If Tasakwe just goes for one gate obs, he could be in a lot of trouble. Oh man. Oh dearie me, there is the second hatchery, of course. Now I don't know how many uh mutas you can afford. I assume you he'll time it so that he can't get six mutas out. Uh I don't know if you'll be able to get that much gas though, can you? Can you actually get enough gas for six mutas after going for this kind of fast tech stuff? Uh I don't know. Oh! Is this Dragoon gonna see it? Uh, I don't think that's in range. I'm pretty sure that's just a patrolling goon. <clears throat> um, I see someone says you can make five. It seems reasonable. Uh, yeah, it seems a little bit of a stretch to be able to make six. Then again, Kashu did make like two robos, a support bay, and uh, and get shuttle speed, and get like two reavers on one gas. And then he proceeded to just like tech up and get Templars and Reavers on one gas the whole time. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what that's about. <coughs> um, so Spire is done. Ah, actually, the second hatchery isn't done in time though. So Kashu, I guess I don't know if he fastest the build or if he messed up the timing a bit. 
Um, either way, he's not going to have uh, an insane amount of mutas. I assume that's all mutas making right now. <coughs> and, okay, and Obs is going to get into the base, but he, what he's going to see is not going to make him happy. Uh, I believe he does have Dragoon range now, and throwing down a Forge, ah, immediately. But here come two Mutalisks. Um, there are two, three Dragoons, so he'll be fine for now. Um, and immediately skedaddling with that Observer, so it doesn't get sniped. Uh, so two mutas are coming in, but there's four dragoons. He's got to be careful not to waste these mutas. Oh man, every muta is going to be so crucial here due to the limited amount of gas. And the forge looks like it is going to finish. The observer just sneaking around back into the base. Uh, looks like five, six mutas are out now. Um, and he's just going to gonna clump them up a little bit, regroup. Uh, wait for a couple more before going in. Looks like a second odd is even out right now. And a Stargate and a couple of cannons are going down in the main. So it's Sockway going to play a little bit defensive right here. And is this does this have a drone in it? Does it have a drone in it? Yep. Yep. Well, maybe not. No, that's actually just grouped with the with the mutas. Never mind. Okay, that's the, the stacking overlord. Whoopsie daisies. Uh, I mean, it was suspiciously like a, a, a drop overlord, but I guess he doesn't have the gas to afford drop tech quite yet. Oh man, he's got to be careful not to really engage, he's just going to try and snipe one Dragoon, but, uh... Man, these range Dragoons, uh, not easy to micro against them. So, first Corsair is being made, I assume. Unless he's making a scout. Um, in which case, we should give him the victory by default. <laughs> Uh, but no, it looks like more mutas are being made, more dronies being made. Uh, has he invested in drop tech yet? Because the thing is, drop tech is 150 gas, so I don't know if he wants to save all of that for mutas. Um, looks like he's gonna just be annoying here on the edge. Just gonna take some pop shots. Oh! It's a volley off on that Corsair, but we'll be forced to back away. Uh, looks like the core is spinning again, so Sockway is probably getting uh, plus one er weapons for his Corsairs. Very, very smart move. And a Hydra Den's going down. Uh, no, no signs of an expansion. Would be good. It's pretty good. Zerg often enjoys having more than one base. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, it's 200 gas for drop tech. That's right. It's not 150. Silly me. Ah, speed is 150. That's correct. That's correct. I was almost right. So yeah, drop tech is uh, quite expensive. And, well, this is a nicely defended base. Um, a couple of Scourge are out to snipe that Corsair. Is that a Corsair? No, it's an OBS. Oh, we might get this uh, Observer though. Oh, that's nice. That's quite nice. Uh, obviously, the Observer is uh, pretty gas heavy as well. 25, 75, so uh, Tsaku doesn't want to make too many of those. And it looks like, what is he doing? Looks like he's just fanning out. Um, just scouting around the map. Making sure no hidden bases or something, I guess. Uh, well, no, he's just going up to the north side. Okay. A shuttle is sneaking out. Might be trying to sneak a probe out. No, he's sneaking dragoons out. Is he just going to try and snipe this overlord or something? No, he's actually bringing his whole army out. Uh, that's interesting. And it looks like Kashu finally has gotten some drones out. Um, throwing down two hatcheries immediately at his natural. Well, his quote-unquote natural. <coughs> And it looks like it's a fairly easy third base to take as well, if you if you just look at this architecture. Um, so that's nice. Oh, looks like he gets an Overlord. Alright, there it is. So, uh, Mutas and Scourge out. Did he get plus one Carapace? Um, once again, it's very interesting to see the, the gas management, I guess, on this these island maps. On one gas, you really have to plan exactly what you want to spend your gas on. And it looks like a probe is coming out here. Uh, it's four Corsairs. They don't have plus one just yet, and it looks like... Whoa, was that the shuttle? I think he just got the shuttle. I don't see a shuttle anymore, and it looks like, though, there's a big engagement. But, oh, no, flying over the entire force and taking a lot of damage on the retreat. Uh, the Corsairs are... Well, no, only two Corsairs are in pursuit. He can actually turn around and kill those. Oh, doesn't realize that. Um, and Hydras are being ferried out now. So, uh... All right, I'm being I'm being informed of administrative issues by game. All right, so uh, Nexus being made, cannons being made, very good. 
Uh, getting ready to get Ebos. Maybe just shuttle speed. Could just be shuttle speed. Probably gonna get Ebos. Because they're pretty cool. Pretty fun. Pretty fantastic. Oh! Oh! The Observer's knife! Oh! Oh! Uh, don't, don't Observers just sound really sad when they die? They make like a little, like, weird whistling explosion thing, but it just sounds really sad. Um, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Don't, don't kill Observers, guys. That's, that's very BM. It's very mean. So, uh, wow, that's actually quite... Uh-oh, uh oh we have an attack here, but there's a lot of Hydras out. It looks like they do have speed, I assume range? Probably. Well, I don't know, it looks like they're backing up. He could actually go and kill this right now. There's only, uh... Well, there's nine Dragoons, but a lot of Hydras and Mutas. He could actually just go kill this base, I think. Um, unless these cannons get up in time. Oh, he should retreat to the other side of the the bridges. He should go to the, 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 the bridges. The bridges, man, the bridges. Okay, he's going, he's going. He's going. Oh, he's getting a little bit stuck because Dragoons are dumb. Ah, uh, uh, one Dragoon does get taken down. Will the cannons finish in time? One cannon is almost finished. Ah, uh, he's running across the bridges. The cannons. Oh my god, and the Mutas are going to just sacrifice themselves. It looks like it's going to be not enough. It's not in time. The Sakwe will lose his face. The probes are coming off to fight, but there's only one Dragoon and one cannon left, and a lot of Hydras are coming in. Meanwhile, Kaju has taken the top right base, but I'm not going to click there because this is much more exciting to look at. However, there are three cannons there, but oh man, losing all of those probes, definitely not what he wanted. I think he's actually going to take this down. So the Sakwe, the cannons, barely not in time, uh, is gonna is, is possibly going to lose this game. Oh no, how tragic. Oh man, he's, he's ferrying. Oh no, two Dragoons. Sacrificial Dragoons. Oh, I think he should have waited for a Reaver. He should have kept those two Dragoons to buffer for his Reaver. And oh man, he's going to lose all the probes. He's going to have to do some amazing uh, Reaver micro right here. This is, he's going to have to have like the best Reaver micro of his life. That Scarab, it's being dumb. It's not killing things. And it's... Well, wow, Reavers are pretty good, but it's going to die. Oh, the shuttle goes down as well, but the Corsairs are in here doing a lot of damage. Corsairs, the plus one Sairs, are going to kill all the Overlords. And the Sakwe, or rather Kashu, having used all his Hydras on that attack, is actually going to be completely supply blocked. He's got... He's got one Overlord. Two Overlords, that's it. He's got two Overlords and that's it. He's got no he's got no supply. He's got two hydras. Oh, he's gonna kill the Nexus, the Nexus! Oh no, there's no shuttle to save the Nexus, so the sh Nexus will go down. Once again we have a ridiculous a ridiculous game. <laughs> okay, he's gonna Well, is he gonna make spore colonies? He can't make units. Oh no, he's gonna make the overloads from the hidden base. Oh no, Desakwe doesn't know about it. So he can make overlords. Oh no, he's gonna get this one overlord, but the hidden base. The hidden base is so good. The hidden base is so good. Oh, uh, where's the shuttle though? Dude, you need a shuttle, man. Okay, there it is, and it looks like he has speed now. So he might be able to reclaim this base. Um, and it looks like he did make some overlords here. There's only two hydras. I don't think the Sakwe knows. He could go kill all those overlords. Oh man, the Sakwe doesn't realize. Okay, there's an evolution chamber though, so he's gonna be able to make some spores. And it looks like, uh, yep, we'll take those down and actually cannoning up, blah, 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 cannoning up this bridge um, while waiting for reinforcements. Hopefully, he doesn't uh, shoot down my command center. Is he gonna see the top right base? No, he's not gonna see it. Oh man! And meanwhile, Saskashu is taking the bottom left as well, so. Kashu, uh, looking good, looking good. There's a lot of hatcheries now in the middle of the map. Meanwhile, Sakwe is almost mined out, uh, is re-expanding, uh, and has a decent defense now, so he will be able to hold the space. But uh, Kashu's economy is going to get out of control pretty quickly. And, oh, almost flying over some hydras right there. Doing a little dance, because I'm watching. Uh, oh, look at that, ferrying out all those drones, very good, and it looks like he will scout the bottom left base, but there's really nothing he can do about it at this point. Uh, interestingly, no overload speed just yet for Kashu. I think he could certainly get it at this point. Um, he also hasn't taken the third gas. Well, he doesn't actually have that many on minerals, so... Uh, yeah, seems very good, seems very reasonable. Seems almost like we're transitioning into standard Zerg play. 
Uh, although the, the Protoss play obviously is still a bit non-standard since he has to deal with his island main. And looks like he's just transferring all his probes out now. He actually doesn't even have that many from all from his main. It looks like uh, barely like 20 probes. <clears throat> Uh, so, actually, did he, did he see the top right yet? I don't think he did. Oh man, that's really unfortunate. Look, he's scouting the bottom right, but... That hidden base, man! That hidden base. Uh, either way, I think he knows he's behind, uh, but probably just doesn't realize by how much. <clears throat> what would be really cool would be like a DT drop into the main right now. Because uh, I still, I don't see Overlord speed just yet, still. Um... Well, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, he's gonna fly into Hydra's! He's gotta be careful, he's only got five left actually. Oh, it's six left. Wow, look at that, seven kills on that bad boy. Although some of those, wow, lots of kills on these guys, but some of those I think are Scourge slash Muta. Oh no, he's gonna run Scourge! Whoa! And going for a Citadel now. Uh, and, and taking the gas out is natural. So uh, he does have one saturated base, but uh, Kashu is going to be at kind of three and a half. I'm going to call this a half base. Uh, this base isn't fully saturated yet, but uh, it's going to get going to get there. So I'm not... I'm trying to think what Tasaki can do at this point. I guess he just has to turtle up and uh, just kind of slowly creep forward and take some more bases. I mean, the, the middle bases, like these naturals, are really open. Like, look, look at how open this is. It's like no choke or anything. So it's going to be pretty hard for it to defend against Mass Hydra's, and oh man, he's taking more damage! Losing one Corsair right there, and is... What is going on right there? I don't even know why those three probes just, like left. But uh, Kashu taking the bottom right. And there's the Archives, but... Ugh, one base Protoss, man! The Zerg is taking the whole map! Kashu playing it like uh, any other <coughs> regular non-island map. Um, I think at this point he doesn't actually need to use these two hatcheries. He can just uh, like make overlords from these and then just make all his units from the other ones. So he doesn't even need to worry about like ferrying troops out and stuff. Uh, that would be quite cool. And it looks like though a shuttle is coming out here. So this is exactly what Zakwe needs to do. He needs to do some kind of crazy harassment. Uh, you know, take down uh, 20 drones or something in order to, to come back. Now, oh, he doesn't know there's a base here. He wants, he wants to expand. Oh no, the Sakwe is like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, why is there creep here? Oh, dude. Dude. Oh, Kashu, uh, losing two Scourge. Tiny blender, but nothing huge. So, Sakwe was trying to take this hidden base, but, you know, there's a hidden base in your hidden base, man, so it's not, it's not good. Meanwhile, throwing down more gateways. Uh, I think you should throw these down here, to be honest. Um, otherwise, he's going to have to just ferry these guys out, which is being annoying. And, of course, uh, you could say, well, if he loses this, you know, if he puts them here, he could lose them. But I think if he loses these gateways, he'd lose this nexus, which means he'd lose the game anyway. Oh, he's going to be careful with the shuttle. He looks like he's trying to take this base, but no! The Sogway! The Sogway! Oh, no! The shuttle goes down with a Reaver in it! He tried to be fancy with the micro, and he's even losing a Corsair. Oh man, it's not looking good. Uh, what's what's coming over here? Okay, it looks like a control a control group of Hydras is coming. He's gonna try and take it with a probe and a reaver. Uh, well, if Kashu's not paying attention, he might lose a bunch of drones here. He might lose a bunch of drones here. No, he loses one drone. So, ooh, look at that, Kashu being fancy, loading all the drones up into Overlords, so they do not die. Uh, meanwhile, he his economy is just out of control right now. I don't I don't really see any way for Dasakwe to get back in this. Unfortunate, 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 given how epic their game 2 was. Um, but yeah, Kashu just playing this this really, really well. Uh, not only showing that he, he knows how to play the island maps, but showing that he can abuse random as well with that, that funky overlord stuff. Um, it looks like the Sakwe is trying to move out, going to try and take this base as well. Uh, there's two High Templar here, if he gets some nice storms off. If he storms this... Oh, looks like they're going to run away. Um, well, I guess a bunch of High Templar plus Reavers will uh, be sufficient defense. He's got to be careful, Stormo! Is kind of a dud. <coughs> Lurkers are out. Does he have an Observer? 
Oh dear, he does have an observatory, but no observer in sight. Uh, he's got to back up a little bit. I don't think he made another observer after losing those early ones. Um, so he's actually going to get pushed back by these lurkers, but he does have dragoons though, which are pretty good against lurkers. Oh no, and here come the hydras, he needs a storm stormer! Oh, he needs more good storms! Where's the reaver? Where's the reaver? All the hydras are clumping, he needs more storms, more reavers! Oh my god! Oh, stormer is so good! Storm is pretty good, but it doesn't matter, there's too many hydralisks! So many dead hydras, so many more dead hydras, but it doesn't matter, all the high templars going down. The entire Protoss force is going down, only a control group of hydras remain, but that will be enough. That will be enough to claim the low ground. What is this Agwe going to do? Because Agwe has nothing left. His army has been destroyed. It looks like he's going to go do a Reaver harass in the bottom left. Going to get some drones. Five kills on the Reaver. Even going to sacrifice that Dragoon for it. Uh, but the drones will simply run away. And there are a lot of Scourge! Oh my god, he just sacrificed like eight Scourge onto that shuttle. But who cares, man? Who cares? The Protoss is on one base and with no army. <coughs> oh, wow. Uh, meanwhile, Kashu taking this inside base. And he's got like a million hatcheries on the map. Oh, man. That is many hatcheries. He's not even making for most of them. Uh-oh, uh uh-oh. The Mass Muta switch. Plus one carapace on these bad boys. Um, plus one attack was done on the, on the Hydras as well. And oh, no, the Dragoon is stuck. Uh, <laughs> poor, poor Desakwe. He's like already got no units, and then he just makes a stuck dragoon. It's just like, oh my god. He's just thinking to himself like FML right now. So Desakwe has nothing. He's got... I mean, this High Templar, if it can kill, like, you know, 50 Hydralisks, then he might be okay. But if you just look at the minimap, look at this. Kasha just taking every single base on the map. Um, so that's really all there is to it. Kasha could kind of just finish this whenever he likes. Where'd all those mutas go? Oh, hello! Wait a minute, wait a minute. Somebody linked me to Ride of the Valkyries for this one. That is many Mutalisks. Uh, where are they going though? Okay, looks like they're going home. So I'm gonna look for uh, Ride of the Valkyries. Ride of the Valkyries. And it looks like he's pushing out a little bit, but here they come! Here they come! Oh, a huge storm going down though, he's gotta be really careful for the storms! Oh man, that is that is a lot of mutas. And there's no Archons with this army either. Oh, they're not attacking anymore. Though, I was just playing the music too! Come on, Kashu. I just I just played the music for you, man. Play the music. Oh, he's gonna wait for some Hydras. Alright, these are 1-1 Hydras. And... Well, he's defending with one eye Templar. Here they come, the Mass Mutas! The Mass Mutas! Oh, Storm! Can he get another one? No, the eye Templar has died! All these Mutas are in the red hell. They have two carapaces, there's the Archon, but the Archon's shooting Hydras instead of Mutas, and it doesn't matter. GG! Kashu takes out the Sakwe. 2-1, to one, and will advance to the round of four of the LRM Islands Tournament, number two. Very, very nice play.